on guys, Ben Miles Mount just really and today I'm going to be showing you not necessarily a trick but a really really cool cut way you can look at the spectator's card without them even knowing. Um on a from a bar shuffle deck of cards, it's absolutely incredible. So let's go right into it. Alright, so it's probably it's probably the most famous one, it's called the uh Myth Up um Peak. I don't think you've heard of it. Uh, I actually know what the real name is this for, I've just <laughs> completely I don't know. Alright, so this is a pretty cool well, way you can peek at the card, so this is pretty much it. So, they say stop whenever they want. Stop right there. Have a look at the card. Don't forget to forget the tricks over. What that should let you do is just give the cards a quick shuffle. Just like this, like, give them a little nice and shuffle. Just like so. But it doesn't matter, because I already know the card you picked is the Nine of Spades. Alright, so this is a pretty way. Alright, so this is pretty much how you guys can do it. So pretty much what you do is they say stop whenever they want. You say then have a look at it. And then when you do that, you catch a break under the card. You then do this, and at this point you can look at the card. All it is, and it's a six of diamonds. Okay? So pretty much what you do is this. So you're going to have your fingers, you can hold the card like this. With your four fingers on one side and your thumb on the other. You're then going to take your thumb and like bell the cards just like so. And you're then going to riffle down up the side like this. Just practice doing that. And they're going to say stop whenever you want. Let's say they say stop right there. Now you're not going to be looking at the card. You're going to look at it. You're going to review it like that. And then when they've looked at it, you're just going to keep on riffling. But at the same time, you're going to put your pinky in there. Okay? And where the card is. Once you've done that, you're now going to pretty much right, put your thumb over here. And you're going to take this hand and put your ring, middle and your thumb at, like this. Because then you're going to lift. Do the cut as you're doing that. Your pinky is going to do that so you can have a look at it. Now, left-handed people, this is fairly tricky, tricky to do because the cards are very because the cards uh, for you when they say stop, the card doesn't show. Okay, but if you're right-handed, okay, when you do that, okay, I'm not really good with my hand, obviously. Okay, you do that and the card is there straight away. But left-handed is quite tricky to do. So, okay, so we do it again. They say stop, stop right there. Have a look at it. Okay, they've had a look at it. You then do that. You've now got your break, okay? You're going to sort your hand back into mechanics with we'll still your break, normal break. Take your middle and thumb. Do this, okay? As you're doing that, you can have a look at, you can take a peek at the car like that, and as you do that, give them to it. All in one motion, it should be very quick this. They say stop, have a look at it. I have no idea what it is. Have a look at it there. 80 diamonds straight away. Okay? So, I'll go more in depth um, of this thing. So, hold the cards like this. Bevel the cards. Say stop, stop. Have a look at it. Now, as I was like, have a look at it. Just stick your pinky in there. Boom. Square up the cards. Take this here. You've got your break. And then you're just going to do this as you're doing that. Take a look at it. And it's the 80 diamonds. Okay? So, they're all in one motion, say stop, stop, have a look at it, boom, boom, 80 damage. Why do I keep saying stop on the 80 damage? What is wrong with me, you man? Come on, let's not stop at the 80 damage ever again. Okay, <laughs> this is very embarrassing. Like, stop, okay, hopefully that's not the 80 damage this time. If it is the 80 damage, I'm going to be very annoyed. Like that, 10 damage. There we go. But obviously the misdirection in this part is probably the best bit, because obviously you want to misdirect them by just saying, like, say stop. Stop right there. And all I want you to do is just give the card a quick shuffle. And as you do that, I've already, I've already locked at the card. And then you have no idea what I've done now. So now it's in your head. You can just have it in your head the whole time. Just do a normal trick. But you already know what the card is. It's the nine of clubs. It's that simple, guys. And pretty much that's it. So that is the tutorial of how you can do this. It's very simple. Very easy to do. Really nothing else to say. It's one of the best ways to look at the card. It's really a really good way. But, um... Yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it, guys. Stay safe out there. And yeah, but until next time, peace out.